Hello and welcome to a new video discussing dynamic array functions, video number 7. Now we need to remind you that dynamic array functions are working only with Office 365. If you are using any other version of Excel, you won't be able to practice the exercise in this video. In this video, we are going to look again at the filter function. We are going to see an advanced example of how to filter a table of data based on text search that can be performed in three different modes. Exact search, contains, and start with. While working on the example, we are going to discuss some other functions beside filter, such as indirect, search, is number, lift, lin, and choose. Let's go direct to Excel and have a look on our example. In the practical example today, I have a small database containing the staff information. It comes in four columns, staff ID, full name, address, and hiring date. What I want to do, I need to retrieve some records using the filter function, and these records based on the search value that I can input in this cell, and I can decide which field to search in, like the full name or the address. I can change this from this dropdown, and also I can change the search mode. I can start with the exact, but also I can have the contains and also the start with. Let me try the exact. Let me search the first name, which is Camel Morsi, Camel Morsi, and then enter. You will see that I can retrieve the entire record for Camel Morsi. If I change this to contains, no problem, but let me try something like Amr and then enter. You will see that I can retrieve four records. Two start with Amr at the beginning and two have Amr as last name no problem let me change the search mode again to start with you will see that the retrieved information comes with amr at the beginning only and excluding amr at the end so it, the start with is working properly also i can change the field of the search from full name to address if i change this it will give me not found because for sure amr is not a valid address but if i put again the exact mode and i search something like doc key and then dash and then Giza, this is a valid address that I know in my database. You'll see that I have three exact matches, Doki Giza. But if I change this to contains, and instead of Doki Giza, I write only Giza, and then enter, no problem. Each and every person lives in Giza will appear in this search. I can again change this to start with. Let me put the letter A. Each and every address start with the letter A will appear in your retrieved data. In this Excel file, I already prepared my data. I created two drop-down menus. First one is to select the field that I want to search for, full name or address. And you can see in the helper data area, I have the list, full name and address. And for the search mode, I also created the drop-down. And it, ba it is based on this small list, exact contains and start with. And also I give code for each selection because whenever I change here, you can see when I change to exact, the code is now selected as one. If I change this to contains this will change to two and so on and so forth and i'm going to use this code later in this video but this code uh, selection is based on the xlookup function and i have already video explaining the xlookup if you want to review the link for the video on the top of the screen right now i can put here my input and i'm going to write the filter function here i'm going to search full name i'm going to start searching for the full name and i'm going to select the search mode as exact and I'm going to search the first record which is the full name Camel Morsi. Let me write Camel Morsi and then enter and now let me start my filter function equals FIL the first option is filter tab and I'm going to follow the screen tip first thing will be the array I want to select my array in this case will be the return array so I'm going to select whatever I want to return in this case it will be inside the table on the left hand side you can notice that I already transferred the information into a table format and I give a name for this table called stuff so when I, whenever I put my mouse on top corner you will see this tilted uh, black arrow when I click on it you will see that the entire table will be selected and in the formula bar you will see the name of your table which is stuff this is good for the array i can just put a comma in order to move to the second argument second argument will be the include and include is your criteria for the search or, the, or for the filter in this case i want to compare the full name field so i can just select by mouse i can just hover over the top of the of the column and whenever i see this black arrow pointing down i can just select and you can see here my selection written start with the name of the table and then between two square brackets the name of the field then i want to compare this with the, my input value so i'm going to use the equal 
and then I'm going to select H9 with, which contains my input value and this is good for the second argument which is include now I can move to the third argument comma if empty it's optional but it's good one I can just write not found so if my criteria or my search value is not valid it will give me not found message between double quote for sure because it's text whenever I hit enter you will see that the filter function now is working and here is camel morsi retrieved now let's try to take this one step ahead in this case I want to use whatever selection I have here from this drop down to impact the search value so meaning that if I select the address the search value now need to be comparing the value here to the address column instead of full name column and so on and so forth in order to do this I'm going to use the indirect function at the beginning I want to reference the entire column for the full name let me go to this empty cell and I'm going to write inside the cell equals and then the name of the table which is staff and then open square bracket and then the name of the field which is full name and then close the square bracket and then enter you can see because we are working in Excel 365 the entire column spelled automatically now I want to change the selection here and then the reference changed here automatically let me take uh, a copy of what written inside this value but I, I'm going to take only the text meaning that I'm going to ignore the equal and control V here and let me try to reference this directly so in order to do this I'm going to use indirect let me delete and then equals I N D I and then tab indirect requires text and I have text written here if I just reference the text here and then close the bracket for indirect and enter it will give me the exactly the same result meaning that indirect function can convert the text into reference how can I build on this you can see now I have here the name of the column full name or address but here I have the, also the name of the column between two square bracket and at the beginning I have the name of the table so I want to build this uh, text based on the text that I'm selecting here in order to do this I can use the end I'm going to start with equals and then open double quote for all cases the name of the table will not be changed so I'm going to write staff and then open square bracket because the open square bracket also will not change and then close the double quote and then I'm going to use the and in order to join text together and in this time I'm going to reference the cell h6 so I'm going to start with the staff open bracket and whatever inside the cell h6 and then I'm going to use another join which is and and then open double quote close the square bracket and close the double quote for the square bracket and then enter you can see that I can build and the same text here I can build it from the selection I have here so whenever I change the selection you will see the text will be changed if I go inside the indirect formula and just change my reference to one step up and enter whenever I change my selection here it will change text written and also the reference to the table so this is good I can just take whatever inside here everything except for the equal control X and then backspace and inside the indirect formula and instead of referencing F2 I can just paste this and enter it will give me exactly the same so whatever I change here it will directly change the selection of the column if you take the entire indirect formula here except for the equal control X to cut backspace to delete the equal and if you edit inside the filter function I can just select the address of the column control V to paste my indirect function and enter and now whatever I select here it will impact the filter function so let me try the address for sure not found because camel morsi is not a valid address let me put a valid address like doki dash giza and enter it is working perfectly and you have all the addresses for doki giza retrieved correctly I'm going also to put copy of my indirect formula here because I'm going to use it again and also a copy from the filter function I can just take it without the equal control C to copy and in F number one control V to paste because at the end of the video I'm going to join all together in one formula now let's move to the contains search mode we already finished the exact now we want to start the contains I want to search a value should be first name or second name or part of the address inside this search value so let's start by try to search the name Amr inside the full name column in order to do this I need to use the search function so let me go here and then write equal 
S E tab. Let's follow the screen tip. First thing I need to find text. Find text for sure will be in H6, which is Amr, and then comma within text. This time should be the full name column. In order to reference it, I'm going to write STA, the name of the table, tab, open square bracket, and then FUL for full name, tab, close the square bracket, and then close and enter. But remember that I don't want to search the full name. I want to search whatever selection I have in H6. In order to do this, I can use my indirect function. So backspace, backspace, control V, and then close the bracket for search and enter whatever i change here it will automatically change and let's see the result that we have here we have errors you can see a list of errors and then some numbers why we have errors because whenever the text is not found at all you will have an error here and whatever cell it contains the text it, you will see a number but sometimes it starts with one and sometimes eight like here and this depends on the position that the text is found in so in this case in this row you will see that amr at the beginning of the text so the position is one and here amr is the second name and the position is eight if you count the letters it will be the eighth letter so it is in the eighth position so it doesn't matter for me i just need if it's found or not found in order to do this i can use another function before search called is number and if you put if you edit inside the formula bar and write i s n u m and then tab close the bracket for is number and then you hit enter this is a simple answer of true or false if it is found it will give you true if not found it will give you a false and because you have a list of trues and false you can use this inside your filter function so let me take this copy inside the formula bar control c and if you go inside the filter function i have my array which is tough this will not change but the include i can just change this to my new formula the search formula control v and enter and here you go amr you can see at the beginning you have two records amr at end you have two records it is working perfectly let's try something like ahmed and enter again you have ahmed at the end ahmed at the beginning if you change this to the address and let's try something like giza and then enter all the records containing giza retrieved correctly now our second formula is ready i can just take a copy of control c and you can go directly to f2 and then control v i'm going to use it later now i want to start to look at uh, how i can perform the search mode start with you can see here contains will give you amr either at the beginning or at end of the record but in start with case i want amr only at the beginning in order to do this the perfect way is to start to search amr from the left of the column so if you are going to search amr inside the full name column i want amr only three letters so i want to search only the first three letters instead of the entire record uh, or entire cell in order to do this i can just use inside the search a formula i can just use the lift function so let me edit my search function here inside search function i have find text arm um, this will not change and then instead of having the column which is represented by the indirect function i can just use the left of the column so i'm going to write here the left function l e f t and then tab let's see what is required for left function it requires text which is the column no problem and then i can do one right arrow and then comma the second argument is number of characters in this case i want to put it as three and close the bracket for left meaning that i want you the left function to retrieve from this text which is the column address or full name whatever i selected i want you to retrieve only the three first three characters from the left and then the entire formula uh, search and is number will give me the true or false based on this comparison so whenever i hit enter now i have my uh, truths and false list updated you can see that i have only a true whenever amr at the beginning here is amr raghib i have another true for amr mahmoud and the rest is false but what if i put here another name like ahmed and then enter it will give me false all the way why because i'm searching four letters inside three letters remember i put 
the three here hard coded and here it's four letters so i want this to be something dynamic it can just count whatever letters here and put it automatically and this for sure will be the function len which can count the length of a string inside a cell l e n and then tab and then the only required is a text for sure will be the text inside cell h9 and then close the bracket for len and then enter and if you check now you will see that you have trues whenever you have Ahmed as a first name like here you have Ahmed first name and you have a true and because we have a list of trues and false you can do the same you can just take a copy of the entire formula without the equal control C and go to your filter function and you can just edit your filter function and select the include from the screen tip control V to change to the new criteria and then enter and here you go you have only two names starting with Ahmed let's try Amr two names only starting with Amr so your third function is working perfectly I can just take a copy control C without the equal and in the third place I can just paste and that's it for the start with so the last step will be to blend all these filter functions inside one formula in order to do this I'm going to use choose and let's try to write it together and let me also take a copy of the first formula control c and i'm going to write choose right here equals ch o and then tab you have the choose here you can see that choose require index number and then value one value two value three and so on and so forth so based on the index number input it will decide which value to retrieve in my case i'm going to input the index that I can retrieve from my selection here you remember at the beginning we said that we gave codes for the three selections so whenever I select exact it will give me one if I select contains it will give me two and so on and so forth so let me reference this cell which is s6 this will be my index input and then value one will be the first formula control v I already took a copy close the bracket and enter let me try to bring the other one control c let's go again and try to edit the choose function i already gave value one which is here one right arrow and then comma control v to input the second formula and then enter the third formula let me select control c going to choose function value one is done value two is done i don't have value three one right arrow and then comma control v to input value three and then enter now the choose function is done let's try to test our search engine together exact with full name Amr Raghib and then enter working perfectly let me change this to contains and the input will be only Amr it will give me four records Amr at the beginning Amr at the, at the end no problem if I change to start with it will give me Amr at the beginning only that's perfect change this to address nothing contains or start with Amr as an address but if you put the letter A you will have all the addresses started with A if you put here contains and you put something like Doki and enter it will give you Doki if you put the exact it will give you not found but if you write Doki and then dash Giza it will work perfectly all the options working perfectly you have a perfect search engine inside excel if you have a very big list of names or a big database containing information you can design a very useful search engine using filter and some other function as explained here that was all for today finally please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and see you in next videos and thank you very much and bye